When it comes to lifting loads, there's a lot riding on it. There are lives at stake. Of workers. Of people nearby. Of people who are the load. To say nothing of the value of other loads should anything go wrong. The safety of lifting equipment hinges on its weakest link. And when this includes any work equipment used for lifting or lowering loads, plus any attachments used to anchor, fix or support them, the number of links in the chain are enormous. When it comes to using your lifting equipment, it must first and foremost be positioned or installed so it's as safe as possible. Okay, now if you can drive in here, yes. park up roughly in the middle there, and you need to pick up the toilet block and move it about five metres that way. To the right, yes, That's okay. Fine. I've got you, I'll just have a look over here to see where it's going to go. This essential preparation minimises the risks of things going amiss, like the lifting equipment or load hitting someone or something. Where appropriate, the importance of outriggers cannot be underestimated, especially in soft and wet conditions. And the fitting of a safety catch on a hook will prevent a load free falling or being accidentally released. And when you have a load that needs moving, it's not just a case of lift or lower away. The task must be properly planned by a competent person, appropriately supervised and carried out in a safe manner. Yeah, I think we can manage that no problem, you know, You need to conduct a risk assessment before you set about your task, using the principles of risk prevention. Avoid, evaluate those you can't avoid, adapt, replace and combat at source.